Our area roadways have already clogged with people evacuating South Florida, heading north trying to escape Irma's path. This is a live look from our DOT camera, I-95, and northbound traffic there on the left. This is why Mayor Lenny Curry has been encouraging people in zones A and B to begin evacuating now. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever spent the evening speaking with people at rest areas. Destiny's joining us now from St. John's County, and it seems like the roads are definitely more crowded tonight, Destiny. Not as crowded right now, but we can tell you we've been covering this story for two days now, and we're definitely seeing more people headed out today than yesterday. Here's Nancy Quinn. She spent the day dropping her baby niece off in Georgia. Quinn says looking at the latest hurricane models for Irma made her get on the road early. Oh, this is a, it's a pretty big guy, big girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. And take a look here. You can see not much traffic on the road at this hour, but when we spoke with Quinn earlier today, she said she noticed a lot of people were on the roads in a hurry to get out of town. Be patient because there are a lot there's a lot of panic out there right now. You can see it and you can feel it. Uh, just try to be a little patient. We also caught up with Ralph Ibera at a rest stop in St. John's County. He's headed south to pick up his daughter from school in Orlando. Ibera says seeing the devastation in Houston, he thinks people are evacuating early. Because of everything in Houston, I think people are just taking this, not taking any chances, right? You know, we saw all the devastation there. Um, and so there's no, I think there's gonna be a lot less people that are gonna sit there and go and, and not be prepared. And another important thing to remember is if you're headed out, the governor has suspended all tolls in Florida until this storm passes. Reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.